welcome to another video from Stewie's Adventures. This is the first three months of me having my 1996 Pajero. I call it Stormy. So, I did it. I was umming and ahhing about it. Just pulled off all the, um, the masking tape and all that sort of stuff. And I did it. It's black. Yeah, so all the videos and all the photos you see right now are for the, from the first three months of me having my car. Uh, we've been on rough roads, we've been on all sorts of four-wheel driving tracks. I've even been bogged. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. Hit subscribe and like and do all the things you need to do. Hit the little bell and uh, see what we get up to right at the end of the video. I think I'm heading towards the bar now. We're going to turn the creeks over that way. Bar is to the left. I'm like this little like a border track thing going on. Heading east, uh, heading west, sorry, heading west. Um, I've seen two cars since I hit the road today. I think everyone is isolating themselves. Very clever of that. Anyway, so yeah, it's, uh, it looks like the crowds are coming in and uh, on this road. It's starting to get a little bit interesting. The freaking kangaroos are everywhere. I have got no idea where this goes. Hopefully, not a dead end. Because it's a freaking long track. You'll need a few more revs going up a hill. Yeah, that's why you're gonna go a little bit faster. Nice and fast now, Madison. Right, can you get out of the way so I don't run you over? Oh, I'm out of the way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna break, not climb. Go, rev. Oh. Go left. Go left. Watch out for the trees. That was a tree. Straight. Straight. So go over the hill to the left there. Then go up the little hill. That's the big hill. Yeah, here's another section where we're driving down the creek bed. Pretty rocky. We're following John here in his Land Rover. Uh, just taking it nice and easy. Just making sure we miss all the rocks. And uh, yeah, we went for quite a while down this little trek. Yeah, so right here we're camped in a little gold mine, an old abandoned gold mine. And you can see I've got the awning out the side, the awning out the back, the Australian flag at the top, a couple of swags underneath. Uh, yeah, so we've picked a really good spot. Tonight on the menu, we're going to have glasses out of sausages. Oh, that'll be good. Oh, salmon. One, two, five, five, five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Yeah, look, one of the things I love to do is um, check out the old pioneer huts and, and uh, homesteads in the Australian outback. So we often pull up, take a few photos, and um, check out these old huts. Amazing. Let's see if I can get another spot. You would be able to see me freaking miles. OK, 
Okay, so I'll put Madison to low range first, coming down this hill. Follow his tracks. Yeah, what you see here is me um, a little bit bogged. I went full driving on my own one day out in the middle of the bush, miles from anywhere. Couldn't see anybody, any cars, any houses, any anybody. Uh, yeah, I ended up being bogged for about four to five hours. Um, luckily, ran on the way home because honestly, the car was filthy. But I finally got out with no max tracks. There's my uh, what do you call it down there? Ah, uh, I'm from here. That's a little bit These are my max tracks. This is my last resort, otherwise I'm sleeping here tonight. Guys, I don't know where I am. I don't know. Maybe I can do my thing for you. I don't know. See what happens. Hello guys, this is it. Nasty dog. I am down to the axles at the back there. These are my max tracks. I should have, if I had max tracks, I would have been out by now. Honey, guess what I'm getting? Max tracks. But I've got these branches and fucking flies. Check out this, another mud. I am filthy. My arms, look at that. Oh. <sighs> it's not too bad, the weather's not, hasn't come in. I did go over there, but uh, didn't get us. So that's my. Alright, this is the situation. I'll go down the bog, one bog, back into another bog. So I come through here. Yeah, doing okay. Should have taken this side, but it's on this side. That wasn't like that two minutes ago. Now, I don't, this is the bastard that freaking got me bogged. I've been here for about five hours, getting out of that. I'm out, and I'm on my way fucking home. I am filthy as a dog, and I am proud of myself. Go Stormy, you freaking legend. <laughs> oh, look at the car. Who knows? <coughs> no, look at it. Oh, there's my water bottle. Oh, I need more of that. Oh, there's the thing. Look at the car. Let's put the tyres down. Look at this. I know he's going to clean that for me. Oh, no, she's much fetches. She's got fetches. Oh, back into the bush there. Look at that. You can legend storm me. It's taken me a while. I flogged the bastard and she's come through. Holy fucking hell. That took me forever. <laughs> I'm rat. You got no idea. I am bloody rat. Oh, someone's calling. There you go. Well, good morning. This is the, the aftermath. Um, I come home last night. Here's my front door. Look at the mud at the front door. We've even got it up here. My wife's going to go nuts at me. It's even over there. Look at that. It's everywhere. Anyway, here's the car. She's been washed off quite a bit. So, uh, there's the car. Underneath. <coughs> oh, yeah. Looks like a bit of a, bit of a sand beating. There goes the um, mud flap's gone. Look at the dirt there. Look, it's still got a branch there from last. <laughs> All right, I wonder how many scratches. Oh, look at the scratches on the car here. Look, look. Oh, they're scratches. They've done real scratches. Look at that. <laughs> they fucking have a Navara. Anyway. Bonnet's pretty dirty. 
a little bit of mud all over the ground already. Had to wash the lights off last night, couldn't see out the window. Um, couldn't see, because there's so much, uh, uh, oh God, fuck. Look at this shit. <sighs> okay. Look at the mud there, fuck. It's gonna work properly now. Dear, 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 dear. Oh, look at my pants. Look at my pants. <laughs> I got out of the car and dropped to my knees in the mud. Oh, God. Let's go see what it's like on the inside. There's my clean car. Ooh, that's a cute one. Alright, open her up. Oh, Gabelle. Look at the pedals. Look at this. It's fucking. The steering wheel. Steering wheel's fucking filthy. Look at the, the gear knob. There is fucking dirt everywhere. Here you can. I got dirt all the way up here. Dirt all the way down here. Oh, fuck. Look at this. Fucking everywhere. Jesus. Oh well. Sounds a little bit too far yesterday. Don't think those scratches are going to come out anytime soon. Yeah, so one week after I got bogged, I'm, I've cleaned the car and then. The very next week, I'm up to my mate's Andy's place, and he's got this little mound there. And uh, I've let our little Charlie have a go at the uh, at Stormy, taking him over these little mounds. And then now his girlfriend Sophie's in the car; she's trying to go over the mounds as well. So we had a bit of fun, and then after that, we um, headed out onto a couple of dirt roads up near Two Wells. Uh, we come across these guys that were bogged, and. Uh, Really, my car was just as filthy as it was the week before, so I just didn't even bother cleaning this one. Look how filthy the car is now. It's just filthy. I mean, there is mud everywhere, and I just, oh, I didn't even bother cleaning it. I just waited for, you know, look at the mud underneath there. <laughs> it was everywhere, honestly. I just, wasn't as bad as the week before. Uh, we didn't get bogged, but, um, yeah, there's still plenty of mud there and I just let it just fall off. I just could not be bothered really. Two weeks in a row is just like this. So pretty um pretty well used, I would say. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh this is three months of stormy. Um I can can't wait for the next uh, sort of nine months to see what we can come up with in a year. So uh she's been everywhere. I've had a great time. Thank you very much.